Hi, I'm Scott Clark. We're from Battery Works. We're a Victron distributor nationally. And I just wanted to uh, do a little bit of a demo and test on the Victron Blue Smart charger. We've got a, a 12 volt 30 amp uh, charger. It's IP22, this one. So it's great in caravans um, and in boats uh, or trailers, camper trailers. As long as it's out of the rain, it's fine. Um, it's because of 30 amps it's got, it needs a little fan and needs to be able to breathe but it has three outputs and it also has Bluetooth so you can actually see what's going on so we're going to uh, we've got it hooked up and as you can see with uh, a dual core cable and two other positives so I'll plug it in and we'll get some power to it So we've got, it's, a, it's doing an initial test and it'll uh, start from 14.4 and it's already figured out that there's some bulk charging required. And if you follow the cables down, I've just made a little homemade bus bar there for the negatives. They go to, we've got three different batteries. We've got a, a Panasonic Deep Cycle. We've got a, a starter battery uh, and we've got a, an SLA that would be common in uh, medical equipment and telecom equipment. So for me to know what's going on, I quite simply just grab my mo my mobile. I've got the Victron Connect app that's free on you know, iStore or Play Google Play. Uh, it also works on uh, there's a Windows version you can, version you can download. So as soon as it the Bluetooth connects, it's found all the devices that have Bluetooth and that are on. So I've got a, over here, I've got a BMV, which tells me lots of great stuff if you've got deep cycle batteries and you're constantly charging them and discharging them. It's telling me there's an MPPT that's on there. So that's that one there. It's telling me this 24 volt charger is on here it's actually being my uh, my solar panels for inside so I can use that if I turn this on this inverter will come on and whammo I just resign and there's my inverter so it's found the inverter as soon as it's on but what I'm interested in now is this 30 amp charger I click on that it connects and it tells me we're getting live data, 12.8 volts, and it's using the full capacity of 30 amps. I've got a couple. Of, I've got everything that I can control on the on the face of the bat, on the face of the charger. I can control from the app as well. So I'm doing a normal charge. It's got bulk. So. We'll, What I've got the option with, as I do with uh, most Victron chargers, is that I can just change that down. And you can see that when I change the amperage, it's changed all the other settings as well. So it said it's going to go, went to 12.4 volts at 15 amps, bulk and the night mode is flashing. Night mode, great feature if you're inside a camper van or caravan or on a boat and you don't want the charger uh, fan cooling that you do want the charger fan cooling the, the, the charger down but you don't want it keeping you awake at night so you can just put night mode on and it cuts down the cut the charge current automatically and then it tells you it'll go it's got eight hours of night mode it tells you even got a countdown of seven hours and 59 minutes before that flips back automatically so we'll, we'll flip it back onto onto um, night mode off and charge current 30 amps so what I'll do now is grab my little standard multimeter move there and just see what's going on at each battery on the multimeter multimeter says 12.93 for the big deep cycle and on the car starter battery 
we need a little bit more we've got 11.77 and on the SLA 12.87 so it's three different uh, charges for whatever the batteries require and that'll charge them and we'll just leave that on and uh, let them charge it up thanks very much